Welcome back to Tutorial Tidbits. I'm Elizabeth St. Hilaire and today I'm going to teach you the simplest, quickest, easiest way to clean your gel plate. No baby wipes, no running it under the water, no rubbing, no soaking, no mess. It's just simple. It's going to make you love your gel plate even more. It's going to make you want to break it out and use it and play with it because this is easy cleanup and we all like easy cleanup. We all like no cleanup. Let's just leave it all spread out so we can do art all the time. So check it out. I'm going to show you something that you're going to love me for. So you've got a gel plate that's dirty with paint and you're done for the day and you want to put it away. You're going to return it back to the clamshell, the plastic clamshell that it came in, but you are going to keep your brochure or your directions away from it. You don't want to store it with that sticking to it. And you don't want to return those thin plastic sheets that it came with. You don't want to store it with those. Those thin plastic sheets that were on both sides of your gel press are part of the manufacturing process and they're not meant to be stored. So once you pull those off, you are going to discard those. You're going to put it back in its clamshell when it's clean and you're going to keep this information separate so that it doesn't stick. Okay. So the easiest way to clean the gel press, a lot of people say oh you could use baby wipes or this or that this is what I have found to be the quickest solution scotch heavy duty shipping tape clear this is dry I'm gonna take the tape and the tape noise was always my son's favorite noise he complained about complained about tape when he was living at home so this is for you Connor the tape noise So I've got tape over the whole surface. I'm going to make sure, oh, I missed a spot. I'm going to rub it down onto all of the paint. I'm going to make sure that it's got good contact. I'm on a piece of um, palette paper here, which is probably going to stick to as well. Sometimes I'll just take it off the paper. You can wrap the tape around the edges. That's helpful too, because the paint's uh, rolls over the edges at times. I'll get that out of the way. Okay, and now I'm going to pull the tape off and look at that. Pull the tape off. All of that green and blue is completely gone. The peach that you're seeing is from the other side, but look at that. We got all that tape off easy. No scrubbing, no rubbing, no rinsing, no stressing. So that's your quick tip. Welcome back. I wanted to let you know before we go this week that I have some exciting workshops coming up, um, some opportunities to learn with me. I am going to be in Ridgeway, Colorado in the end of June. I am going to be in upstate New York in the Finger Lakes region, the most beautiful place to be in the summer, in the middle of July. I am going to be at Art Makers Denver in the beginning of August, and then I am taking my sold out trip to Italy for the month of September. I will be in October in Sedona, Arizona. I will be doing a workshop as well as participating in the Plain Air Festival. And then in November and December, well, November, I'm going to be back in Bainbridge Island, Washington, teaching my very first fabulous florals workshop in person. That's going to be four days at the Winslow Art Center. And then I am going to take December off. And in January, I'm going back to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. So check out my website for workshop listings at paperpaintings.com slash workshops. And I wanted to let you know that I have a brand new Amazon shopping page where I am listing all of the art supplies that we use in these tutorials that you can purchase on your Amazon Prime. So I will put those links below and please check them out and see what you think. And as always, keep on ripping and gluing.